So, Miss Begonia Maculata, she has been in LECA for many months. Uh, when I first got her, she was in pure peat and I almost killed her with root rot. I could smell the root rot coming from her. I transferred her to LECA. She took a little bit to bounce back, but then she took off. And now I'm having the issue that I can't keep up with filling the reservoir. She grows really fast and she drinks a lot. And half the time I get to it, she's completely dry. So I'm hoping that transferring her in a self-watering pot is going to help this. There's your reservoir, there's your pot that will contain the leca and the plant, and the little gauge that says when to add water or nutrient solution. So the pot has a foot here with slits. So the leca is going to be in there as well. And the water should wick from there up to the plant roots. I'm a little worried that just having leca in this is not going to be enough. So I'm going to also add wicks from one of these little legs to the other that are going to also wick liquid to the leca. If she's too big to go back in a pot this size, I also have a regular nursery pot that's bigger just in case. I also want to add that cutting so that I have a little bit fuller plant in the bottom here. Um, my begonia cuttings, I start straight in leca. I put them in a closed container and they root crazy fast. So I would highly recommend that. And actually, if you have a begonia, you're worried about transferring it to LECA, just take a bunch of cuttings and make you a new plant straight in LECA. It's gonna work great, especially since begonias have fine roots. So they're a little bit more tricky to transfer than like aeroids, gleonemas, other plants that have thick roots. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Um, oh, I need something to work in. Okay, I decided to just put a towel there. See, it's almost dry. So I have these stakes in there. So these are actually flower. Whoa, doesn't want to come out. Well, that's weird. Okay. Oh, I don't want to destroy her roots or her leaves. <gasps> Felt a snap. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I have to take these out. So these are uh, stakes that are supposed to go like this and then the stem goes in there, but I put them through the holes of the nursery pot this way. It doesn't show, but I'm trying to not disturb the roots too much. Oh, she's going in the self-watering yeah not that big okay so I'm gonna put the wicks I have soaked them I stem around like that like this so they go in one little leg and then they're on the bottom of the pot and then they go into the other little leg so they're gonna soak in the nutrient solution at the bottom all right, now I'm gonna add just a little bit of leca to cover the, cover the wicks and fill the, the foot. That's it. Oh, what about my steaks? Should have put those in there. Oh wait, start away. Put some leca just in the foot down there, that thingy. Mm -hmm. Uh, go in there. Guys. There's a little grid. Come on, get in there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I've put the those little grids there little grids I put the stakes through one of the holes
Okay, now the wicks. All right, this liquor has been soaked for many days. Oh, <gasps> okay. Oh, no, I think it would work better this way. <gasps> They're so fragile, so fragile. Lean on there. Oh, rip the leaf. Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't look bad. Doesn't look good either. Okay, let's backfill. So the advantage of the self-watering pot is that there's a separate reservoir. So, oh. When you have just a nursery pot in a cover pot, the reservoir is down here. So a lot of it is occupied by LECA. With the self-watering pot, there's a separate reservoir with no LECA in it. So there's more water in your reservoir. So I'm hoping that it's gonna help me not have to uh, add water as often. And also it's gonna help me see that it needs water because of the gauge. I hope she's not too traumatized. Oh, she looks crazy now. This kind of needs to go. Oh, well. Oh, I forgot to add the cutting. Oh, great. I think it should go here. Look at everywhere. Okay. Okay. This is very long and this part is naked. Let's make a new plant. <sighs> oh, come on, come on. Oh boy. Okay, mama, let's put you in your pot. Okay, we have a huge begonia, begonia maculata cutting and I'm gonna put it in like a, in a self-watering pot. I got these mini self-watering pots. So you have the insert, you have the reservoir and you have the gauge. Gauge goes Maybe you have to take it apart. No. There you go. Great. Okay, like a, at the bottom. And then I think we're going to make a super bushy plant with multiple cuttings. Uh, wait, 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 wait. That's going to be one. That's going to be one. Take this leaf. Sorry, leaf. Oh. One, two, three, four cuttings. Oh, 
try to arrange the cutting so that they look all right, like so. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go get my nutrient solution. I think since this plant, it's a cutting from a plant that was already in LECA, I think I'm gonna start with nutrient solution. Maybe diluted nutrient solution. Okay, where's the gauge? Here. Um, the gauge is not moving. the heck something is wrong oh there is why was it not it's working oh no there perfect oh my goodness Move my face out. How pretty. I'm gonna put that in a closed container because they root a lot faster when they're in a closed container. All right, let's get a shot with mama and baby. Okay guys, this was a chaotic repot and propagation and experimentation with self-watering pots, although the experimentation is just starting. Um, thanks for joining me if you stayed that long and you liked that video give it a like and I hope I see you again real soon. Bye!